Our partners at Bet Online continue to be your number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, and sports developments, including this year's Wimbledon Finals, Major League Baseball, all the latest fighting news, and this season's NFL. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today. Receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BLEAV to get the bonus and get into action. Bet online where the game starts. Hello, hello, hello. It's Private Talk Podcast, and we are back with another episode. We are in a special location. We are in a live event, and this is the first time that Private Talk has been at something like this. I'm so excited to have this guest. We are at a Loop to Fi Christmas party. We're doing a little special sneak peek Private Talk Podcast with the lovely Chantelle Zales. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me, beautiful. Thank you for coming I don't know which camera to look at. You can look right wherever you want. You can look over here, right over here. But no, I appreciate appreciate you for coming. I thank you for taking the time. I know you're a busy woman. I know you're a six, you know, business woman. You have a lot of different things going on for you. So what have you been, you know, up to lately? I know that you are obviously here for the Loopify Christmas party. What is your affiliation with Loopify? How do you what are you what are you kind of working up with them right now? So Loopify handles all of my merch. We do a lot of things from like phone cases. Um, we just launched a calendar today. So if you go on my Instagram, you'll see the link to find that calendar or just go on their um, platform. But I've been friends with the owner. He's like one of my best friends for like four years. So it was just natural that um, he started doing collabs with Instagram models like myself because he, he was mostly doing like athletes and stuff like that. So. He's branching over to the girl side. Okay, I'm helping smart him. man, smart yeah. man. You know what I mean? I feel like, you know, with OnlyFans and, all, you know, even IG and, like, having a platform for girls like ourselves of having a space to just kind of create what we want. If it's calendars, if it's clothing, yeah. if it's all these different things, I feel like it's been a really cool thing to kind of learn and kind of grow. And mm-hmm. for having people like Loopsify to kind of segue with, you know, girls like yourself, like myself, it's kind of cool to collab with those things is because we rightfully so are making a mark in this you know industry and they need merch they need merch exactly. from us and they need more things is this the first time you've done a calendar um it's my second time i've done a calendar the first time i did it totally by myself i didn't know what i was doing it was 2016 um but it was a lot of fun it was a lot of work as well and i've just been busy the past few years and i decided now's a good time to do another one awesome i'm, I'm excited to see what those sexy pictures <laughs> are because i'm sure you're a sexy lady so yeah. you're definitely gonna have some sexy pics in there definitely push the envelope a little bit so you say that you know you're an IG model. You do all different kinds of endeavors. You have a clothing. You do uh-huh. you know you know have all this stuff. What is your main focus right now? Honestly, I'm such a homebody. My main focus has been OnlyFans since COVID. Okay. Just because I've capitalized on working from home. I literally it's 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 amazing for a homebody introvert like myself. Like I've met so many friends on there. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but I've been doing like pay-per-view sites like OnlyFans for about seven years. So I've, it's kind of been my main focus. Like I've done other things. I've done um, actual clothing boutiques and stuff like that, but this has just been my main focus. Like, is it because it's the most lucrative? Yes. Okay. So talk about that. Like, how did it go from changing of being just an IG where, you know, you were doing the same types of things and now we go to a platform like OnlyFans. Uh How did it feel to now step into like a whole new lucrative matter of where like financially it was making sense of what that was? Like, what was that first, like first time on OnlyFans when you made a lot of money and you're like, this is where I need to be because you know for someone who's a business minded person it's mm-hmm. like you put your you know you're doing other things but when you see that something's giving you a big dollar amount you're going to yeah. stick to that because it makes sense I'm going to stick to that because it made sense I'm not going to lie I have a majority male audience um, so when I was doing the women's clothing boutique it was not making as much as like the websites were so um, do you no the, longer do that anymore? I no longer do it, okay. no. No, no, no. Do you feel like that it's something that you would go back to, or is this um, a, just a different way? I actually still have kind of like a tiny little warehouse full of clothing, so I might I might do it, but in a different way. Okay. Maybe open up an Amazon storefront, figure something else out. Um, I also want to get into real estate, but I think, yeah, I... You got to you got to focus on what's good cuz it's you know I'm not going to say it's not going to last forever. I think OnlyFans is here to stay, but it's definitely my main focus. Yeah. But as far as like the thing is like if I basically having 
the first time of having financial independence from something that you yeah. normally was doing already. You know, you're doing sexy pics, you're doing yeah. whatever, and then it's like this. is like, how did that make you feel, and when did you re finally realize, like, oh, I'm going to kick it into next gear, and we're going to do A, B, C, K, D, because that's when it really comes to focus of, like, now we do our passions, because yeah. it feeds our passions. Yeah. We, you know, we love what OnlyFans brings us, but we also are passionate about our, our content on OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. So did that bring you to a new passion of, like, finding what that is for you next, or are you just strictly only on OnlyFans? Um, I, like, I have a few ideas, obviously, so I... Give us a sneak I peek, bought. girl. Don't, don't, you know? I know, I know you just started <laughs> your calendar, things. which I think is really awesome. And they should all yeah. go to your website right now and go um, and get that because it's so going to be out there. I have a lot of ideas. I don't necessarily... I'm more about, like, being about it than okay. talking about it. Um, I bought my first house six years ago. I flipped it. I just bought my second house. Amazing. Um, I've... I want to do that on a smaller scale, like maybe in a different state, because LA is kind of pricey right now, but um, I'm very passionate about real estate. Um, there, I have other passions, but... Do you have your own real estate license? No. <laughs> okay, well, maybe that's something that you could do, not yeah. only do it yourself, you know what I mean? Because yeah. for me, it's like, what I loved about OnlyFans for myself is mm -hmm. that... Yes, we are making money and doing other things or whatever. But mm -hmm. what it finally gave us, like you said, the homebodies like ourselves is like, okay, now we can sit down and have the time and not have to travel to A, B, C, D, yeah. all these things. Which, yeah. again, it, it was valid for a point. But, yeah. you know, we evolve with time. Is like, mm -hmm. now it's like, what's next? So that's what I loved about it for me. It was like, I started, you know, I'm doing a, a weed thing. I have, you know, my own clothing line with, mm -hmm. with uh, Looptify. I'm doing other brands that, like, now I have the time and yeah. the money to dedicate to my passions yeah. to make them into, like, a reality. Mm -hmm. So that's what I love about the financial independence that OnlyFans is kind of giving girls like ourselves to mm -hmm. like kind of do like what we love and yeah. not like be forced into something because someone's just dangling a carrot in our eyes. It's like yeah. now we have the carrot. Now that yeah. now things have changed. Now Definitely. it's like, you know what I mean? So I think like that's the empowering of like yeah. giving it back to the creator because, mm -hmm. you know, so for so long, the people who own the content was was who the was making the most money but now yeah. it's like the creators took back the ownership and we're yeah. coming back into our own and really creating beautiful things because right. we have ownership to it yeah. where that's a big difference where before it wasn't uh -huh. looked upon as where it was necessity where yeah. ownership now is like a big love deal what I do. yeah I uh, love that a lot of people try to shame you and I'm like I'm not ashamed I, I will tell anybody at any dinner table what I do because I love it um, and I would say for the girls that are, are up and coming and want to try to get into it only do it if you love it it's not easy a lot of girls make it look easy um but yeah get ready to work hard and it's definitely it's a lot hard of work outcomes. i think people yeah. think it's a misconception like yeah. oh it's just free money no it's it's money it's hard work but yeah. it's you got to be willing to put the work in you got to be willing to do like the you know getting up every day and mm -hmm. if it's customs if it's answering messages back if it's doing all these things i feel like yeah. people think that like there's there's a disconnect where it's like mm -mm. we still be working you know they it's not nine to five it's, it's like 24 hours a day you know yeah. what i mean what can we find on your OnlyFans that you kind of do that's more maybe taboo or things that you can't find on any other platform? Um, on any other platform? Well, I do a lot of custom, so basically don't be afraid to ask me any kind of weird... Are you known for like dirty talking? Or are you just known? I know you have lovely body. I'm actually You're very for curvy, <laughs> have nice titties. I like, I mean, you know, all these things. But are you known for a certain specific genre of those types of custom um, things? Or is it something that you're known for that your fans go to directly for you because they I know you're going to give a lot of different things. I do strip teases. I do like twerking. I twerk a lot. I twerk actually kind of a lot. We should twerk um, together. I mean, we definitely we twerk should. combo, you know? We definitely should, yeah. I like that. I'm down for that, yeah. What are some things that you are afraid of? That I'm afraid of? Hmm. Maybe not in business, maybe in life, maybe just things that you've like learned along the way, like things that maybe you've been like maybe working on that you're trying not to be so held back on. Um, I'm not afraid of anything. I've definitely waited a lot longer than I should have to like join TikTok because I thought it was a certain way or it was all about dancing. So one of my biggest regrets is not jumping on the platform earlier okay. because I've been using it as kind of like a way to show my personality. Like, I mean, I dance on there a little, but I don't do like choreography, um, but I show a lot of my goofy side. I show like my humor. I'm afraid, I'm not afraid to not be sexy on there. I'm not afraid to be sexy on there, but um, yeah, I think not utilizing jumping on every platform it's kind of been like something that i regret okay but yeah. you're there now so that's I'm a big there aware now. there's I a big it. awareness of that yeah. you know what i mean i feel like for me is like i'm kind of the same boat i'm still haven't have i don't have a TikTok. i don't know how it uh -huh. works i'm not a big dan i'm not a i'm a dancer in a different type of way I respect yeah. the platform. I see how much it does for people, yeah. but I sometimes you just don't know where to. It's like jumping rope. You don't know where to jump in and where it fits for, for you. For real, I you started I mean? three months ago, and I was like, I thought it was a certain way, but now I'm seeing it's a lot of like DIY. It's a lot of informative. It's like there's 
different ways to kind of like put yourself out there in another way. So you so, enjoy it. You're, you're happy that it. you're on TikTok now. I'm obsessed with it. Where can we find, what is your TikTok? Where can we support you? Oh, it's just uh, Chantel Zales underscore. Okay. Because somebody stole my name, but it's okay. Oh, we'll, we'll work on that. We'll work on You'll that. You'll know which one's me. I'm the one with a lot of videos. What celebrity crush did you have growing up? Growing up, definitely Angelina Jolie was my... I had her book. I don't know if you know she had a book. She had a book. Okay. Um, what was her book about, girl? Her Because <laughs> I did not know she had a book. Uh, her dad is John Voight. Uh, yes. She was estranged with him. Um, so it's like about her, her life. Brother. Like her life. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. I just thought she was, I was kind of gothic in high school and middle school, and she was just kind of like my vibe. Like, she okay. was just different. She was not afraid to be out of the box, like, and I really liked that about her. All right. So yeah. who are some of your celebrity crushes currently? Now... Hold on, let me think, let me think. Um, I'm, I was a film major in uh, college, which I never graduated, obviously. Um, so I'm like really into sci-fi, I'm really into like thrillers. Oscar Isaac is like my number one favorite actor. Um, Who was Javier that? Bardem. Oscar Isaac, so he was in, he's okay. the lead in Ex Machina. He was okay. also in Star Wars. Okay. Um, I'm not. It, he was, was a dad in Dune. Okay. Okay. He's hot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I have to look. I'm like, I'm not. I don't. I'm not a Star Wars. Yeah. Not a like. Um, yeah. Any of those types of movies. Respect them. So I don't know enough to know the, like that character. But I'm gonna research because I'm like the way that you're rolling your eyes. You're like, he's hot. You, yeah. If you saw his face, you'd be like, oh, that guy. So I've I would masturbate to him. Definitely. Oh my god. Yeah. Is that he's what got you, those? Is that what's in your spank bank in your material? Yeah, I don't know. He's actually South American, but he looks like Middle Eastern. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you, do you like secretly think about him when you're like having private time with yourself? Probably. 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 (laughs) You're like one of the many it goes through. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, probably. Yeah. Do you have a sex playlist? Do you listen to music Um, while you're getting in the mood or maybe right before or does hmm. music not even matter? I would say I think about it after the moment. But if I if I were to have one, it would be it would be some Sia, it would be some Sade. Um, okay, okay. I like Saint John a lot. I like his music turns me on. His voice like, does crazy. It for me too. Like his it. face too, yeah. Um, so the, yeah, Saint John. Okay. What is the weirdest date that you think you've been ever been on? Oh Lord, I don't date that much. Okay. Hold on, I'm getting so hot. you so you remember? <laughs> like let me let me fan you down, girl. Let me fan you. I don't date that much. But this the, one time, the Thomas, weir- Texas. The weirdos come out. They seem so normal at first, and then somehow after two or three drinks, they'll tell me they were a fan of mine, and they're mm. like, "What was it like meeting this girl? I know you took a picture together. Where did you get your dress from in 2017 that oh. you wore to this award show?" And I was like, "This was a guy you went on a date with that yes. told you specifics like 2017, yes. and you had no idea. I thought. How he did was you normal. meet him?" Uh, I, th- I think we met through friends. He was older. He okay. was like 45 so he, he or something. So he was like incognito. He was like, yeah. he was waiting until like festering to be waiting. like, how do I tell you? <laughs> Guys don't know how freaky they sound when they start bringing up old shit. Like you Googled me? No. So what did that obviously made your panties dry. So yeah. did you end the date and just be like, uh, it's weird or do Were you like, cause I feel like you're oh, very. Oh my God. Like, so ended the date. It was super nice. Okay. Bye. Then I locked myself out of my house. He was the only person awake. And I was like, hey, I locked myself out. I had to Uber myself to his house, and I waited for my girlfriend to Uber my keys from San Diego. So I had to entertain him until 3 a.m. Oh, girl. And I would have Ubered to San Diego and been like, Now, he, now he knows I'm talking about him. <laughs> for sure. But I didn't want to wait outside my house with a phone that was dying, so... Hey, you gotta, you know, safety first. You gotta first. do what you gotta safety do. Safety first, girl. You gotta do what you gotta do. What would you say? Do you have a crazy either Uber story, Lyft story? Do you have any crazy experiences? Um, that was my craziest one. Like, the guy was, like, calling me, like, can I get coffee? Can I stop? It took him three hours. Poor guy. Um, no, I've, I'm kind of anal about watching whether they go in the right direction. And sometimes they don't. And they pretend that, uh, you know... So you're you're on to top of it. You're just like, yeah. oh, I know where you're going. I feel like for me, I've never mom. had usually yeah. bad experience. Sometimes weird when they know you're kind of drunk, like back in the day yeah. when they had their your like number where it wasn't like screened. Like it would yeah. go to your thing and they'd be like, hey, because yeah. they would drunkenly listen to your girlfriend's conversation and figure out who you were. And I'm like, weird. But yeah. I feel like when I was more out of town, like New York was the worst time. When, and the only time that I knew that it was something bad was happening. Not really bad, but like being bamboozled was like, because my friends were from New York. They're like, you're taking us in circles. I'm like, I would have never known because because you don't like because they were yeah. just trying to run up the meter of like what mm-hmm. it was and I'm like just let me out of your car sir I don't know what you're trying oh. to do but we're not you doing this be with safe. me you gotta be safe yeah if um, you could change jobs would okay. you and if you could what would it be 
So I don't know the exact term of this job, but I was just thinking about this the other day. I would do something like FBI related. Okay. I was really into like Scully and Mulder from X Files when I was growing up. So you're a true crimes kind of girl. Um, true crimes kind of girl. I like it. Yeah. I'm a true crimes girl. Yeah. I like it. I watch Dateline all the time. I'm yeah. aware. I'm aware of what's going on in these streets. I don't know what it takes. I don't know if they'll <laughs> accept me, but. So do you want to be like, backup. but what I'm do you want to, do you want to be an FBI agent or if you could be an FBI agent or would you want to be like, were you like a detective? Okay. You want to find detective. out all the things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you're one of those people that like, we're girlfriends. I'm being like, Hey, look at his Instagram and you're going to tell me what girls he's following, oh. what he's doing. You're, you're doing investigating yeah. work. I can find out the, his most recent girl he just followed, where they met, like what city. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We know who to For call sure. now. Private talk. We know who For sure. to call. I don't show my crazy, but it's there. Is there anything you regret saying no to? Um... Is there something you could maybe change? Like work-wise or like... Anything. It could no. Be, okay. I don't. I just recently saw a psychic and she told me to say no to my friends more because like I said, I am a homebody and a lot of my friends invite me out every day and I and I want to say no more. So would you say, say that no more. in that sense, are you a people pleaser because I you're trying to please much. them and not yourself? I'm very much a people pleaser. Yeah. Okay. But right. only to my close friends and I only have like a core set of people, so... Yeah. If you could relive one day, which would it be and why? Ooh. Uh, mm -mm -mm. I want to say cheesy and say the day I got my puppy, but that's cheesy. Um, why is it cheesy? I mean, I'm a dog mom. That's always great. Yeah. You, know, you know, sometimes it can change your life. If you were yeah. maybe in a lonely state, you needed some, like somebody and like, I feel like somebody becomes something and then yeah. you realize of like what love really means because it's not yeah like a it can be con unconditional love without conditions i was in a very and unhealthy so relationship when i got her so when i did get her yeah she did emotional show me what, support dog what hey, love was we're yeah. gonna stick with that there's nothing cheesy about that okay, girl i'm a dog you. mom you know, nothing, there's nothing wrong with that i feel like more people yeah because you know, a lot of people compare it to i'm not sure how old you are but you know i am in 37 and for me it's like people are like oh like you know your kids i'm like my, my kids are my dogs you yeah. know 24. Point. See, so you, those are your, those are your children. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. You know, you, you practice. I almost got a new, another one last night, but she ended up saying that she wanted to keep her for another six months. Uh, cause she just got cancer. So I, I might rescue one soon. Okay. Again. So we'll I like see. that. I like that. Yeah. Who do you go to advice for? Who do I go to advice for? Um, my bestie is standing over there. I go to him for advice. Okay. Um, my mom will answer day or night. So probably those two. All right. If you could instantly obtain three skills right now, what would they be? Like real skills? Or are we talking about anything. flying? It could be <laughs> anything from flying. It could be you could teleport. You could do okay. anything. Anything. I would like to be more not persuasive. Um, what's the word where you persuade people? Persuasive. <laughs> persuasive. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. I can't think of it. <laughs> All right. Um, Next skill. Maybe the other ones will make you feel. Like, do you want to fly? Probably, you mentioned flying. You maybe I would like, like to fly. Would you be able to want to hear what people think in their mind? Is no, that too much for you? Absolutely fucking not. Would absolutely you? Not. No. Okay. Um, I feel like for me, I would be more of a teleporter. I don't know if I want to fly because you know, get, you know, there's a lot of you know bugs in your mouth. Things are weird. You know, I just would you teleport into a bank and get money? I would teleport would to any place I want. Okay. You just like be like kind of like be That's a good one. You that's like a good you know one. you wiggle your nose and then wherever I want to okay. be, like that moment, that's where I'm at. Like kind of like so manifesting. You like to travel then. I love to travel. Oh, okay. So that if I sense. could time travel, it'd be even greater because it's less time, actual oh. time, but now I'm giving time in what I want to be time traveled in. See, you thought about this. I need to put something, some mm -hmm. thought into that. That's good. See? Yeah. You have to educate your mind to stimulate it because if not, these questions, we don't know. But I like to think outside the box. Yeah. And I like to smoke weed. So, you know, sometimes okay. it goes okay. hand in hand to what it is. That, that does help you think outside the box, actually. So you another, write those ideas down when you smoke weed, too. because I do. That's why we have a lot of cards. Day? That's my part. <laughs> okay. You this is how it became a show. She's this got is a how it came. <laughs> is there any other skill that maybe you have that you want to obtain? Um, if you want to? No, okay. I guess to be like less um, addicted to certain things. Like just quit an addiction like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My mind control. Mind control was what I was. <laughs> yeah. Mind control. Yeah. There we go. There See, we go. I'm, I'm, go. I'm listening to you. you. I'm speaking for yeah. you. I love it, Chantel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What's one subscription that you just cannot live without? Okay, I've been thinking about this one. So, obviously, I'm a Netflix and chill girl, but better than Netflix is Amazon. 
Um, like Amazon Prime? Amazon, the television, because I buy a lot of movies on there. Okay. Um, like all my old favorites. And okay. then Amazon Prime obviously saves my life. I get like five packages a day and it's like a toothbrush. So Love yeah. it. Okay. Obsessed. What is your dating like life? Are you single? Are you dating? Are you in a relationship? I'm very single. I haven't been dating. I've been celibate for kind of a long period of time. Um, I think more recently I'm going to be open to dating, but I've lived in L.A. for 12 years, and the dating scene in L.A. is, like, horrific. They're either married, have a girlfriend that they're living with secretly, um, they're new to L.A., and they just want to be in the scene and be famous. So these men have been lying to you, girl. They've been trying to take advantage of my Chantel. That's, I've had some and horror all, stories. They, they all have the, you know, they all have good game until they don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you're 24, so I'm sure you you hear these young, yeah. d, d bag situations. <laughs> I, you know, as much as I am yeah. definitely older than you, I'm 37, but I'm still like, fine. Why not get better with time? I still have these 23 year olds who try to talk to me, and I'm like, listen, I was at a club last week. Don't know why. And I was like, um, Where are you? Where was I my was, invite? You know, next time, next time. Now we're friends. Yeah, private talks. See, we don't know each other, but at okay. the end of this conversation, we're yeah. gonna be great friends, and we're gonna invite each other out to go out. But I was out, out. I was out, and it was something that was unusual. But I'm also single, and so I'm like, no one's gonna be knocking on my door. So you're so putting yourself out I'm there. Putting myself yeah. out there, getting good energy, whatever. Mm -hmm. And a 23 year old approaches me. Ooh. I don't know at first he's 23, but I know he's young. Ooh. So again, I give everyone fair opportunity, fair game. If you have enough balls and audacity to come up to me and like wherewithal, then talk to me, see where yeah. it's at. But I was like, so he, he had some game, you know, he was trying to talk to me, but then it comes to the whole LA scene of like, oh, you want to come to my table? No, sorry, I don't need to be at your table because mm. it's not really your table, it's a promoting table. And yeah. I don't want to be where I can't really even sit down. I'd yeah. rather not, but thank yeah. you anyways, I appreciate you. He's like, yeah. well, let me take you on a date. And I said, I'm really flattered, but you look too young for me. He said, what's too young? I said, how old are you? I said, you look mm -hmm. about 22, 23. I used to bartend, I'm very good at age, age yeah. checking. He said, I'm 23. He's like, I'm, he's like, how old are you? As I said, I'm 37. He was like, I'm fine with that. I said, I know you're fine with that. I said, but we have nothing in common, sir. I was like, <laughs> we're here and we don't know what we're yeah. doing. But I appreciate and I'm flattered that you asked, but it's just not for me. But again, mm -hmm. I put myself out there. He wasn't the one, but he's a bridge man to well, someone. I'm, I'm proud that, of you. You know what I mean? You were doing a little bit of practice yes. for putting yourself out there. For my, my husband was looking yeah. out where and the thing, but like, that's my girl. She said mm -hmm. no to that one, but I'm about to be there. <laughs> yeah, you, don't know. you gotta know what you want. This is very true. Yeah. What makes you smile, Chantel? Um, I'm very emotional. I'm a cancer. I actually cry at commercials, like even a 30 second spot. Um, I'm pretty positive, so I wake up smiling and happy and feeling blessed for my life. So okay. I, don't know. I feel like I'm always smiling. I love that. Even when I lie. <laughs> so you never know. You gotta keep you them guessing. Know. You gotta keep them guessing. <laughs> what is the best advice you've ever gotten? My best advice I've ever gotten is to not listen to advice. Okay. Ever. Just okay. take it with a grain of salt. I just kind of nod my head and, and like make you feel like I'm taking it in. But sometimes advice is coming from maybe a hateful place, like even if it's one of your best friends. So you just got to like do what's best for you and follow your heart. I like that. Yeah. All right. Last question until we play Truth with Texas. What is your best pickup line ever used on you? Ever used on me? Like what is, what's the pickup line someone gave you that worked? Maybe started dating them. Maybe even just went on a date. Or maybe oh. your pickup line that you use on certain people. Because oh. you seem like you are a take charge kind of woman. Maybe you're the one who's giving a pickup line. I think line. more recently I've, I've become a take charge kind of woman. Because I've like transformed from an introvert to an extrovert a little bit. Okay. Um, so I feel like I would be more uh, comfortable approaching men. But I need I need some help with the pickup lines. Actually. Okay, okay, I, I'm good at I'm good at those. I'm just yeah. clever, just in general. I'm not really the, good at pickup lines. The best but one is where have I seen you before? Oh. Are you friends with this person? And then you just touch their shoulder, maybe walk away, and let them come to you a little bit. So do you? Is that being said to you, or you're saying it to them? I'm gonna say that to them. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, that's, is that what they're saying to you? I was like, because how do you approach that? Because I'm like, when they tell me, how, how do I know you? I'm like, come on now. It, it depends on what mood I'm in. I'm like, sometimes you believe them. You're like, maybe they do know me. Girl, I never like, believe them. Never. <laughs> Believe them, but but yeah. my thing is, is they do. But I yeah. want them to tell me where they know me from because they right. want you to segue and right. tell you why. Or right. I want you to be like, hey, are you this person adamantly? And yeah. then I'll be like, yes, fuck, I am. Yeah. But if, if you they don't know your name and they say, I know you from Instagram. What's your name? Then you're like, no. My when I turn Stephanie. around, when I turn around and they're like, oh mm -hmm. yeah, that's who I thought it was. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I'll All probably right. use a pickup line that's like, 
Um, that doesn't sound like a cheesy pickup line. That doesn't sound like I'm a pro. So yeah, it'll okay. be like, it'll you be like that. to you like to play innocent. I see. I, yeah, play I'm, coy. I'm good at playing <laughs> dumb and innocent. It's one thing. Well, I'm what good did at. I say? Dumb. We're not gonna put that away. We're gonna play. No, gonna no, no. I put innocent. I put that in. You have to play dumb a lot, just so you know. You know, you know. <laughs> Under yeah, you get underestimated. All right, private talk. I hope you are loving this episode. We're gonna get to my favorite part, truth with Texas. We're gonna do it a little bit different. We do not have cards, but we have all the questions that we need to know from Chantel. We're getting to know her a little bit more. We're gonna get a little bit spicier and see what she's all about. All right, so if you are a fan of Truth With Texas, you know what it's all about. We've got four different types of questions. we got romantic, kinky, spicy, and naughty. We're gonna go through a couple of them, then you can ask me a question, and then we'll be on our merry way and get to enjoy Loops is Fire Christmas party. Sounds great. Are you ready, Chantal? I'm ready. All right, we're gonna go with romantic, because I feel like you're a romantic type of woman. I am. I feel Have like, you know? you know, you said you're very emotional, you know, you're. I feel like you're sentimental. You know, like I said earlier, we. I have a lot of friends that you are mutual friends with. I saw that you recently had a Christmas party. You did these sentimental gifts, which is very so much something that I would do, and I like that about you. So I feel like you're romantic at heart. Very much so. What yeah. is the most romantic thing that you have done for a partner? Okay, so the most romantic thing I've done for a partner, um, we weren't even together that long, but I rented out a beach house for him. Um, I threw a surprise party of like 15, 20 people of our closest friends, and we had the house for like a week. And this fool wants to go put on Instagram, thank you for all my friends for, su for surprising me with a beach house when oh, it was no. me. Like he acted like he didn't have a girlfriend, so it was Did like... You, I hope you dumped him the next day. Pretty recently after that, yeah. yeah. Okay, good for you. Yeah. You know, Dick, why? Like why even put it on Instagram? Like don't it's, even say anything and enjoy the fact that yeah. he did it for you. That's just a slap in the face. It's people like that that ruin but I was gonna say, a good girl I was and make say, you not want to do that again. Don't let him ruin that because yeah. the fact is, is if, why I also sometimes it's all fallen short was like you get mad because some things don't end up the way that you want it to. Yeah. But at the end of the day is if that's who you are generally, then you keep doing it until the right person shows up because that is just who you are. Yeah. And then if you don't do it and be spite of, you're only spiting yourself. So exactly. keep being romantic, exactly. girl. The mo the, somebody will be out there that you're not too much, you're not too little, you're yeah. everything and all of the above. All, what she said. All of the above. I still believe in fairy tales, even though hey, I've never felt someone's one. <laughs> fairy tale is what you want to make it. And yeah. your fairy tale is out there. If you know what no, you want and right. you put in the work to know it, it'll come true. Miss Texas is here to tell you. Yes. <laughs> it's here. Teach me. <laughs> Dinner date or movie date? Oh, both. Take gotta pick me, one. Take me gotta to, pick one. Take me to one of those those places where you can eat at the movie theater. Like a drive through <laughs> thing yeah. or drive-in yeah. kind of situation? Yeah, I want to eat and watch a movie. All right, cut or uncut? Do you oh. have a preference on your men? I don't have a preference. Okay. No. Whichever one feels good. Yeah. How long is your ideal sex session? Do you like um, quickies? Do you like a full all session? All night. Yeah. All right. All yeah. night till the break of dawn. Yeah. All right. Have you, let's see. What is your biggest turn on from a man? Biggest turn on is eye contact and if they know how to touch a woman, which is seemingly hard for men. Intimacy. These days. Yeah. Lights on or lights off? Um, um, cheesy LED lights. <laughs> the mood lighting is I have them all over my house, like I, hidden. <laughs> I love it. You're like, yeah. uh, set this timer. Yeah. Naked or lingerie? Um, lingerie. Four player sex. For no sex, just to get straight to the point. Okay, yeah. Hitachi or dildo? Which I don't know what Hitachi is. <laughs> it's like I have to try it. <laughs> Oh, it's, my best it's my best oh, friend. Hitachi, I love Hitachi, it. Hitachi. Love that thing. You the little really, doesn't vibrate, right? I mean, it's not little. It's kind of a okay. hand wand. It's a massager thing, okay. you know? Yeah. There's portable ones. You know, I have one that attaches. You don't have to plug it in the wall. Before the old days, that it was one. like plugging in the wall. Number one. She's, she's the best. <laughs> Never leave a home without her. <laughs> All right, naughty questions. Handcuffs or blindfold? Um, Handcuffs. I want to see. Have you ever had a threesome? Mm, no. Would you Ish. be open to one? Yes. Lube or spit? Hmm. She's throwing them at me fast now. Hold on. You like it? Look, because you don't think about it. <laughs> have you ever faked an orgasm? Oh my god, I'm too nice all the time. So how? Can I you, gotta stop doing that. Can you give us an example have, of your faked orgasm? I honestly have to stop. Can you give us an example of your orgasm okay. you're faking? Do it for me. <sighs> yes, Chantel. Yes. There's a lot of sound going on yes, over here. I don't know. Chantel. I'm only focusing on you, baby girl. That's all we need to do. Here. <laughs> Have you ever hooked up with a friend's sibling? Uh, no. You smiled my a little. You're my like, girlfriend oh. never had a hot brother when, I, when we were growing up. I hope he doesn't see this. But 
Okay, okay. Yeah. What is your biggest never. turn off? Biggest turn off is a bad listener. Okay, I like yeah. that. Are you a part of the Mile High Club? I, that's what I wish. I wish. All right, it's on I the wish. bucket list. So that's we're going to get to it. We're yeah. going to get to it. All right, spicy questions. I thought those were spicy. <laughs> those were naughty. <laughs> okay, okay. We're all a little naughty. We're all okay. a little spicy. Okay, okay, so have you ever broken up with somebody because they were bad in bed? Yes. <clears throat> so this guy took me out on like, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, ten dates, dinner dates. He was so hot. He was exactly my type. And I was like, man, he's such a gentleman. He's waiting so long to even try anything with me. And then when we finally did sleep together, I found out why. Because he was and bad I, and bad. It, horrible. Was it because his, his thing wasn't adequate or he just didn't know what he was doing? It was so a it was, micro. Yeah. Mm, did you fake it then too? Just the one time. And then I, I got busy after that. Mm. Yeah. You're like, I can't repent. I'm really busy. Isn't that for the rest really of my upsetting? Life. Like, you're like, why? Why throw They're it all away? perfect in every other way, but no. That just means it wasn't perfect. That's if he, a, that's knew, a, if he the, knew what to do with it, sure. The problem is, is this is like, we feel this because I've definitely been like that exact same scenario. And I'm like, this is a life lesson. This is a life lesson that you can't have everything that you really want. <sighs> and so Man. it's teaching us that you have yeah, to think of all the exactly. things that we really need and not want. Because sometimes I think it's lustfully things. I could have maybe trained him, but he was... But that's in, too much work, girl. It's a lot of work. And, and there was a couple other things I didn't like about him. But yeah. Next. Thank you, next. We, we can't. We can't. We can't Life do Life is short, man. So you say you're not a porn star, but you are, are doing an OnlyFans yeah, girl. Yeah, I've had OnlyFans But who are years. your top porn stars? I know you have some porn star friends, but is uh -huh. there anybody that did you actually watch porn prior to being friends um, with them and have like actual people that you looked up to or maybe um, watch their movies? I've always looked up to Jenna Jameson. I know that's like old school one. I had her book. Okay. Um, so you I like the I've legends. Always, you like people who yeah, are like business minded. That's when I was yeah. like really... I don't know how old I was, whatever, but I was a little brunette with like no boobs and I looked up to her and <laughs> uh, she's gorgeous. Yeah, I have a lot of girlfriends that do porn. Um, I love it. But um, prior to like that, I know like your girlfriends, because no. your girlfriends don't really count because I feel like those yeah. are like friends and like you want them to be successful. <laughs> but you want them to be successful because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're beautiful women and they're doing whatever. But it's like, but prior to them being your friends, yeah. other than Jenna, was there anybody, did you, like, did you watch porn or did you just like sexy women? Yeah, but I didn't know like who the names people and were. Like yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're going to stick with Jenna. Yeah. Jenna. And Jenna. Alexis, Texas. She doesn't know it yet. And Alexis, Texas. What's the longest you've gone without sex? Um. So I was celibate for two years and I was actually in a relationship at that time so that's a really long story but yeah yeah I'd yeah. love to hear I was it. living I'd with a guy I'd love to hear it on to kill, to kill I was living with a guy and and y'all weren't having sex for two another, years yeah he what was wrong gay. with him I don't know mm. that's was interesting busy. Yeah, but busy and you live with that person. Yeah, not. I don't. I like that for There's you, Chantel. I'm on. glad that you were single and not in that situation anymore because yeah. that just seems toxic. And we don't like toxic care. Private talk. We want positivity. Yeah. We want to manifest our dream, man. We want to manifest our life. We want to manifest the things that we need and want in life that are successful. And that, we don't like that. Exactly. All right. Last question. See, it's not that hard. You were so nervous before. <laughs> you know, we're we're, we're slam. I get shy. You know, I get things. introverted. But you made it so easy. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Um. What is a sex skill that you're most proud of? What is a skill that I'm most proud of? Probably longevity. Okay. Um, I never get tired. You said you said all night I long. Get, I never get tired. I never say no. I'm like kind of. Have you ever been too kinky for a partner? Um. Probably, yeah. Probably, I wanted it more than they did. Yeah. And they were just like they broke up with you because you were too kinky. No. <laughs> they were just like, girl, you need to stop. Yeah. <laughs> Relax. Well, it's I'll 3 in the p.m. <laughs> Can you wait? <laughs> Yeah. All right. Any fetishes do you have? Um, I like to be choked. Okay. Yeah. So you're into like bondage. I'm you into like to be dominated. dominated. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm into yeah BDSM. I like to dress up. Last question. What should it be? Hmm. She keeps hmm. saying last question. Well, this is the last question <laughs> overall. <laughs> this was the, you know we had to have sections. We had four cards we had to get to. We don't okay. have physical cards, but I am the card. So okay. last question. For the podcast. Okay. Most amount of times you've had sex in one day? Most amount of times? Um, 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 I'll go, I have to say five or six, but okay. it's kind of like a long tantric kind of sex. It, yeah. it was a, a, a throughout the day kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a healthy amount of number. Yeah. I like that. Well, that is the rest of Truth with Texas. See, it wasn't so hard. We got to know each other a little bit more. I feel like, again, like knowing people that know you, but I just see that y'all yeah. go to dinners and stuff. I'm like, I know her, but I don't know anything exactly. about her. So I like having conversations with yeah. females that are, you know, in like-minded mm -hmm. situations where 
we don't judge. We exactly. love what we do. We love the people yeah. around us. We were both a part of Looptify, so it was, yeah. it was no better way for us to meet and have you be here I at my that. podcast. I love that. my friends are comfortable with you, I, so that means you're awesome. And she's much prettier in real I mean, not much prettier in real life. She's gorgeous in real life. I, <laughs> I said that wrong. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> so I asked you all these questions. Is there anything you want to ask Miss Texas before I let you go? My mind is blank right now. Let's talk in private. My mind is blank. I love it. <laughs> so please let us know your social media, where we can find you, support you, follow you, get your OnlyFans. Okay. Let my fans know where we can get you. So it's Chantel Zales all across the board. And it starts with a C. So Twitter, everything. All OnlyFans, right. Instagram, everything. I love it. Thank you so much, Private Talk. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Until next time. Bye. This episode is sponsored by Bet Online.